so yeah you can see it's a, a huge building and like i said you know with those new houses opposite you know is that gonna stifle the uh, demand for new flats and good morning welcome back to a brand new video so today we're gonna have a look at one of the uh, the former dwp buildings so it used to be a job center and it's now up for sale so i'm gonna have a a quick look but first of all look at this one so you can see the road is completely closed off and uh, looks like the whole of the uh, the front of this building has uh has been sort of ripped out and developed look at this one and the, like i said the whole of it uh, the front has been completely taken out so whether it was like a a shop before and put it in back to a, a house uh, I don't know but yeah look at this look at the workman uh, ship what's gonna go into this one This is a uh, just off um, Bristow Street, and uh, what a project! It's all been uh, it's like temporary boarded up before, and uh, there's a, a lot of work uh, going to be going into this. And you can see there's a there's an old mattress there just been uh, dumped. But yeah, there's, uh, there's some work on this one. So you see all the, uh, the new houses. Unfortunately, some of the, uh, the scaffolding came down in that uh, huge storm a couple of weeks ago, Storm Ashley. It looks like everything's back to, uh, to normal. But yeah, moving on to this one. So this is the, um, one of the uh, former um, DWP buildings. Uh, it's in Foxhall and is actually up for sale now. A uh, price tag of £525,000. Um, and it's actually got planning permission uh, for eight um, self-contained permanent flats. Plus, um, it's also got, which is strange, planning permission for 30 car park spaces. So whether that'll be like a separate car park, so why would 30 car park spaces be needed for eight flats? But that's the, uh, the planning permission it's been granted. So yeah, you can see it's a, a huge building like I said, you know, with those new houses opposite, you know, is that going to stifle the uh, demand for new flats or will it encourage it? But yeah, eight flats and 30 car park spaces. Um, this has been granted for. Uh, I'll put all the information in the uh, description about this building. Yeah, so this is a uh, Princess Street. You can see uh, these houses being developed. There's, there's quite a selection and it's been going on for quite a while now. Um, there's, there's an awful lot of them. I think there's a few already been completed. And uh, like I said, there's a, there's a lot of these, it sort of spans, it's a huge piece of land. Uh, there must be dozens and dozens of these uh, new built houses going up. So yeah, we've got all the, uh, all the little side streets. There's a Yorkshire Street and all sorts, and it's, it's so quiet this time in the morning. And it's like a bit of a ghost town. And uh, yeah. We've also got the, uh, the Foxhall market around this area. So we've got quite a few uh, places and also Chris Higgins, um, you know, the, uh, the famous pound burger. So he's located around these streets and he's actually closing, I believe it's on Sunday um, for a few months. Um, it's, you know, I think he's sort of going away. I think he's, uh, he's going abroad, so he's done his time and uh, yeah i'd imagine it'll be uh, sadly missed by a lot and uh, what's that little sign just up there you see that i'm not too sure what that is it says, well, it's unique it's got blackpool and uh look at that it's amazing what you discover when you're just walking around these sort of streets and uh, so this is york street and there's, uh, like I said, there's another huge building so it's got single glazed windows partly and part double glazed and 
Oh, look, at, look at that one, that's a, another huge building. It's massive. I mean, surely that must have been a, like a huge hotel. I mean, it's got like two entrances. A massive, massive building. So yeah, this is the uh, Mr. Higgett. You can see the daddy has now left the building, so he'll be doing his last few days, it looks like, in Blackpool. And uh, he should be returning early next year. I might be wrong, but that's what I've, uh, that's what I've heard. Yeah, so that's where, he, uh, where he's located. And he's been seen all over the, uh, all over telly. He's had interviews on the news, all sorts. And there's the, uh, the Foxhall Market, which is absolutely great. It's still in operation. Uh, he's been there for years and years. Um, and yeah, you imagine you won't get the, uh, the trade around here, but they still persevere and uh, they're still open to the public, which is great. Um, it's, uh, like I said, it's great for, for tourism. And also, see another sign, 1930, the Washington. Look at this, all this, you know, you don't see on buildings. See the, uh, the sign just up there. So it's amazing, when you do start looking at these old buildings, um, what you come across. And that just leads uh, onto the onto the promenade. So we're just near Central Pier, and you can see uh, Central Pier getting that delivery of the, of the beers. And uh, I remember doing a film once in a bad storm, and we come out very early. And uh, a lot of these barrels, they must have been empty, but there's rolling around the promenade. And uh, it was a, a really bad storm that was. But yeah, there's uh, the scene rolling about. So uh, that was a, a bit of something. And, uh, yeah, just moving forward a little bit more. We've got the, uh, the Odyssey, looks like there's a, a crane on that one. I'm not too sure if they're doing a bit of repair work or what's going on with that one. So again, another, looks like it's gonna be another great day. You see the, uh, the blue skies, I always like grabbing a bit of the, uh, the beach in. Uh, when I'm doing my uh, walk arounds, despite how far um, I'm sort of ventured. And you see those uh, crows again, they're just sort of pecking. So a few people said they're like sort of pecking for grits, you know, maybe for the digestive, digestive system, shall I say. And uh, yeah, as like I said, it's, um, you don't get worms on the beach where they're like pecking old sort of fish has been washed up or something like that. Who knows? But yeah, many thanks for all those uh, comments. So yeah, we're going to move on see uh, if there's any new developments just on the promenade so there you go you can see more of these uh, more of these crows almost, in fact actually one's got like a, a large piece so i think it's a bit too late for nesting season that's like some little um little mites or something you know so he's on the seaweed but yeah we'll uh, we'll move and see that driftwood again i mean huge pieces it's amazing where it all gets washed up from uh, but yeah like i said uh, i think there's a bit of activity happening in regards to the uh, christmas market so that i know they're avidly building this and it's on the uh, the 15th it's opening up so we'll have a, a bit of a look see if there's any uh, new developments on that one so it just walks a little further you can see all sorts of machinery dotted about the uh, the promenade little cranes and you know, sort of large ones trucks all sorts i mean He's, uh, not too sure what this one is. It's a, it's probably sort of, you know, sort of elevator, you've got a little box on the back so that elevates you in the air, maybe doing a, a little bit of repair work. So yeah, there's all sorts just dotted about. And this, this one as well, this one's been going on for a while, this shower. I said, who's paying the water bill for that one? I'm sure there's a, a sort of a faulty switch of some sort. That's been uh, going on. You can see the huge puddle which it's created. So you'd have thought someone would have had a look at that and turned that one off. But nevertheless, we'll uh, walk on a little further. And you can see the council, they do, a, like I said, I mentioned it many a times, they do a great job. You know, they're out all hours of the morning. And, you know, just getting everything ready for the next day. There they are, you can just see them just down there. They always sort of clean the, uh, the front, which is, uh, which is great. 
So yeah, we'll move on. Just like I said, I'm not going to sort of hang around the comedy carpet because there's probably not much development gone on since yesterday, but and it's always good to uh, just to keep up to date. So it looks like they've got, got the, uh, the base um, already down now. And like I said, there'll be a lot of attachments and uh, all sorts going on with that one. So that's going to take a, a while to uh, construct. Like I said, the main part is still on that uh, low loader. But it looks like um, there's, there's a, a bit of a close look because is that like a. There we go. It looks like there's a. A building now, so that was possibly one of the buildings for the uh, Christmas um, by the sea. There we go, you can see that one. So, is that the uh, the first of the buildings? So yeah, it possibly could be uh, one of the uh, the first buildings, and these will stretch all the way around. Like I said, there's a uh, these fantastic, all that lovely food and the smells, the coffee, all sorts just gets you right into the uh, the Christmas spirit of everything. It looks like there's a uh, there's another one just over there. So yeah, he's already cracking on just since yesterday. I pops in the morning um, around here and they've uh, certainly got on with it. Yeah, so it's like, there's a, like I said, there's a, another building. So, you know, in a, a few days, you know, all this is gonna be a, a hive of uh, fantastic little shops. And then obviously they'll uh, be getting all the stocking, getting ready, trimming up, which is uh, which is great. There we go. See another one over there. And the, uh, so this is where the uh, project, all the uh, like the films and everything, onto the tower. Many people have taken pictures right in this very spot. So just a, a little up close um, to the uh, the star flyer. And uh, imagine all the uh, all the health and safety checks will be carried out once it's up. Yeah, and it's certainly not for me. I'll, I'll keep at the bottom and sell the tickets. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, like I said, many times I don't do heights. But yeah, you can just see how much goes in, how much effort goes into putting things up. It's uh, it's quite incredible. So yeah, this is a, a bit of a close look. Um, what goes into this uh, this star flyer? There we go. Wow. So I hope you enjoyed that uh, video today. Like I said, let me know what you think of the uh, the old DWP job centre. Have you ever visited? And what you think of the uh, the planning permission for those at flats and car park? And uh, I'm just going to leave you with uh, a bit of a shot of this sea because like, it's uh, so enjoyable and uh, it's so calm as well today and like I said many times all those lovely lovely colours so until next time take care of yourselves and it's a, it's a bye from me bye bye